It's a sad day. Our time on Mauritius is coming to an end. We're flying home tomorrow and that means today is our last day. You may have noticed that we haven't shown you much of the east coast yet. That's mainly because we've been lying at the beach and it wasn't that interesting to film I think. But we still have one day left in Mayburg. I think that's how you pronounce it. Mayburg, Maibourg? We still don't know. I think we'll ask once we're there. Yeah, and we're gonna take you along. We had a great time here. We can confirm that beaches on the east coast are by no means less beautiful than on all the other coasts of Mauritius. But it was a little bit more windy. There is some wind, but you know, in hot weather, a little bit of a breeze, it's quite nice. All right, let's get this last day on Mauritius on the road. Do you know how cold it is in Germany? Do you have any idea? <laughs> what we are about to face what we're getting ourselves what we're giving into. up it's so warm it's so warm here it's so nice we're now driving along the coastal road that leads to Mayburg or Marburg and uh, this is a very nice road well here we are our last stop of this road trip stop number eight this is a very basic room in a nice guest house. It's also the cheapest room we've had. 30 euros a night, not bad. It's in the center of Marburg and it's close to the airport, so it's got everything we need. It will do for one night. I, I don't think we need a room tour because well, this is it. Three beds. We started with three beds, <laughs> we're ending with three beds. <laughs> So one of the first things I read about Mauritius in a guide is that in the southeast of the island there's this tapioca biscuit factory which is a must-see thing here on Mauritius and so I saved it and as we're now in the southeast of the island of course we have to go and that's where we are. <laughs> and of course Google Maps has led us through some shady roads again, <laughs> very small ones and also uh, kind of a private property sign um, but a guy on the street told us it's fine to go there was also a sign for uh, a damaged bridge which said light vehicles only we are a light vehicle I mean I think apparently because the bridge is still standing <laughs> and we're um, still alive so that was the first challenge <laughs> and now we just have to see where the entrance is and also what's going on here because it seems like there's no one here apart from us Nobody else wants to taste any biscuits or it's just closed. Could be. Yeah, let's see. They're open! <laughs> We're doing it. We're going on the tour and with an included tasting as well. It's the perfect lunch stop for us. I'm very excited. I mean, I can't just pass by the opportunity to visit <laughs> a biscuit factory, so this is this is perfect. And they've decorated for Christmas. And it's a little bit tacky, but I love it. <laughs> it's good. I like it here. Taste some biscuits. So, which one should we start with? I like it. It has a buttery taste, and apart from that, I think all of them, yeah, have this whole meal kind of texture to it. Maybe the galettes are more fine. I think the galettes have different layers, and then there's something in between. That's how I understood <laughs> yeah. it. So these are the galettes, and this one, there's cinnamon. It has quite a strong cinnamon taste, but I like mm -hmm. it. I'm not a fan of the coconut ones. They're a bit dry. I'm saying a bit, but it's actually dry like <laughs> Sahara does. <laughs> you have to dunk it into your coffee. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done. 
We tasted all of them. Some were very good, some were a little bit dry and maybe not as interesting, but... They were all a little bit similar. Mm -hmm. It's really nice that they're handmade. I mean, they're made here. 10 meters from here, yeah. so that's it's super cool. Also, yeah. the factory inside is very cute. Yeah, and you can see that they're handmade and, I don't know, it has a special feel to it. So if you're ever in the area, have a little stop here. It doesn't take too long and I think it's worth it. One more thing about Mauritius is that it's very easy to get a hold of postcards and also stamps. So if you're watching this, we really did send them out. If they haven't gotten to you, it's not our fault. Okay. Maybach is a lot quieter than Port Louis and it feels a bit more residential. I like it. Yeah, nice houses. So on our last day on Mauritius, there's one thing that we still wanted to do. And it's conveniently located right here in Marburg because according to a lot of reviews online, this place here called Pyramid Snack serves the best biryani on the whole island. That's what we heard. And so, of course, we wanted to check that out for ourselves and we both ordered a small biryani and we got this incredibly large plate of biryani. <laughs> For 125 rupees, which is super cheap. Yeah, it's really good. Smells absolutely incredible. And now I'm gonna try this biryani, potentially the best one. Got some extra tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, that's got a lot of flavor. The rice has soaked up so many flavors. You can really taste the cardamom, the cloves, and the chicken really succulent, falls off the bone. This is a really, really nice biryani. I can see why people are raving about it online. I just love this mix of Indian flavors. Can't even describe what's in there, but it's amazing. I don't know how we are supposed to finish this after we've had these cookies. I don't think dinner is gonna be a thing today, but I'm not mad about it because this is worth it. And as if the rice and the chicken isn't flavorful enough, you also get some really nice condiments on top. You've got this tomato sauce, which is very fruity. You've got this green chili sauce that is, well, spicy. <laughs> and then you can also add this tamarind sauce. Oh, it's, it's more like a jam on top. And it adds a sweet, but also quite kind of a sour element to it. And when you mix everything together, magic. these crazy cards bags please <laughs> does that fit like your Friday every day. <laughs> this market is very quiet compared to Port Louis <laughs> and it's mainly fruit and vegetable yeah recommendation would be to stick to the vendors with price signs this way you make sure that you're not paying a tourist price The nice thing about this bazaar is also that it's very close to the water, the Marburg Pier. And that's where we're gonna go now, check it out. After that, we're gonna drive to Blue Bay. It's supposed to be very nice. We're gonna relax there for the afternoon. Let's go. What a view. It's so warm, but I don't wanna complain about it because it's so cold back home. It's so you cold. You shouldn't. No. We then made our way to Blue Bay, which is a popular beach on the southeast of the island. We spontaneously decided to go on a short snorkel trip to the reefs in the bay, and it turned out to be the perfect ending to our last day on Mauritius. Right at the start, we swam with our new friend here and also saw lots of colorful fishes. So if you like snorkeling, we can definitely recommend coming to Blue Bay, as it was one of the best snorkel spots that we visited on the island. And then, with the sun setting behind us, we headed back to shore. Well, this is it. We're leaving Mauritius. Three nice weeks and a beautiful road trip are coming to an end. Thank you, Mauritius. Thank you to our lovely car and thank you for watching. And we'll see you in our next videos, wherever that might be. Hope you stay tuned. Until then, bye-bye. See you.